morning uh today we're going to make a cloche cloche well there's the glass domes that goes over stuff um and the it's quite nice i use them um for my artwork quite often if i'm doing small bits it's quite nice to by putting it in a cloche it almost draws attention to it so it doesn't get lost in a cabinet they're also quite nice if the kids are making stuff like little stuff and you really want to make it a focal point in the house you say oh wow we're going to put it under this glass dome because it's so so important um and they really like that so that's just an idea anyhow uh so we're using the top half of the bottle and all i've done is where there is a ridge um i've cut along the ridge so this is a two litre bottle I believe it's two litres that are domed um, that we're using and I've cut round it at the bottom and uh, sorry halfway down and then I've heated up a frying pan so dry frying pan on the heat if you are a young person get an adult to do it if you are an adult please be careful and then all you're going to do when the frying pan is hot is you're going to very carefully place your bit of um, plastic bottle that you've cut off onto the frying pan just for a few seconds and what you'll notice is it starts to form a ridge can you see that and that strengthens it so although this is a bit wobbly um, if I hadn't done that it would be really really flexible so that gives it strength and stability because um, what it does is it melts that plastic um, and shrinks it down and a bit like when we made the necklaces and it shrinks down and makes it stronger and thicker um, that's exactly what it does but just around the edge so once you've done that um, you'll notice most bottles have a date stamp on it which is normally the sell by date so this is january 21 um, so all i'm going to do is using um, a cloth and a little bit of let's tip you down so you can watch what i'm doing a uh, cloth and a little bit of nail varnish remover i am going to oh i've lost my date now just gently take my date off and if you rub it, it will eventually come off. And it shouldn't damage your plastic at all. So, yeah, that's coming off. Right, I'm not going to make you sit there and watch while I eventually get it off. Um, but it will eventually come off. It'll just pop off. To be honest, you can barely see it anyhow. But, so, we've got this, this cloche. Now, normally, a cloche comes with a stand. Now, you can cut really nice one out of wood if you want to. Um, but I've just used some of this stuff, which is um, the stuff you get on the back of... Well, it's hardboard. Um, it's stuff you get on the back of sketchbooks and stuff and notebooks. Um, you know, just those spiral-bound notebooks. This is normal stuff. But any kind of cardboard will do. And what I've done is I've cut three that are the same, but slightly smaller than the inside of here and I've cut three that are slightly bigger now mine's a bit bodged because I, I kind of didn't measure properly and I'm slightly off centre but the idea behind that is you then get that ridge so that when you pop your cloche over the top it will stay on its base you could also use a saucer if it's easier to use a saucer use a saucer so I, I cut oh look see there we go I cut them um, and then just glued the layers together obviously not very well because that one's come undone but that's the plan for the base so that's your base so you're cutting three of these I found if you've got quite thick cardboard you only need to cut two if you've got wood you obviously only need to cut one and then a smaller one on top you can figure it out for yourself yep you're, you're more than capable of doing that so um that's my base so at the moment, this still looks like the top of a plastic drinks bottle. So all I'm going to do is essentially just tart it up a little bit. So you can use wooden knobs. You can use, um, I mean, you could even use some of the plastic flowers that you did the other day. Um, I've used before these. Um, these are those click together Christmas decoration things. So this one looks a bit manky because it's been used for making um, bath bombs. But these ones are quite nice. You could trap stuff in it. Um, and the idea is you're then going to stick it on the top. So it forms the top of your cloth. Now I had a polystyrene ball and I decided I'm on a bit of a Mexican thing at the moment. I wanted a two colour uh, Mexican kind of-ish feel to mine, hence the turquoise base. Uh, so what I've done is I painted mine yellow using acrylics. I then let that dry and then painted a layer of PVA. Gave it a quick blast off with a hairdryer to dry the top coat of the PVA and then put the orange paint on. Then heated it, well not heated it, I just I just wanted to fast process, so I used a hairdryer. 
so you then let it dry and what happens is because the PVA is contracting so getting smaller at a faster rate than the paint it pulls the paint apart almost and you end up with these lovely crackles it's quite a nice way of doing crackle furniture as well just as a kind of little taster so I'm going to glue that on there now I'm going to use super glue normally you can't use super glue on polystyrene because it will melt but because I've got the layer of acrylic which is almost a layer of plastic protecting it it should be absolutely fine watch it disintegrate on me now nope it's fine so that's fine but you've still got this bit here so I've got some old um, rag ends of sari silks that I'm going to use because they fit in with my colour scheme. You can use string. Um, what else could you use? Um, you could use just bits of fabric that you've torn apart. Um, you could use strips of leather which would look really, really snazzy. It depends on whether you're going for a classic look or a fun look or yeah just whatever matches your house really and or your bedroom or whatever you want to do so I think that's enough trim that off so a little blob of glue again if you were really good you'd probably sew it but as speed is of the essence here and you don't want to sit and watch me do little tacking stitches to sew stuff together Note, if I'm using super glue, I'm not touching it with my fingers. So that's my cloche. And it's really quick and it's really simple and it recycles bottles and I think it looks quite classy. Well, maybe not that one because it's a bit fun. It's meant to be. But you can pop whatever you want into it and have it as a display piece. And that is how to upcycle a bottle Ooh, to make a cloche okay right um tomorrow is the weekend and it's all about sewing and um we're gonna do some free motion embroidery and then we're gonna have a go at making like uh machine stitched braids on sunday that you can turn into bowls and baskets and stuff it's really good fun so um i will see you tomorrow bye